Hello and welcome to another YouTube video from Rung Bear Life is Art. I'm sharing with you a little altered project, hybrid project that I did. It's using the Bobony chipboard album. Uh, the collection's called Serenade. I used the chipboard album, the ephemera pack and the 6x6 pad, paper pad. And I'm happy to say that there was absolutely nothing left from it. I did add in extra black card to create some of the pages and then there's some other pages as well. That's why I'm calling it a journal, junk journal style hybrid album. Please excuse my voice um, as some of you will who watch me uh, regular will know that I suffer from chronic asthma. So I do get breathless very quickly. So I apologize for the volume in advance and thank you for still supporting me even during my absence from the channel anyway enough about me getting on with this album um, it's a six page album I've added larger rings to accommodate all the pages I've added a removable charm here and it contains on this a little butterfly there, some beads, a key and a dragonfly to keep with the theme of this uh, album as well. That's a handmade tassel, I used uh, upholstery fringing in that. Then I've just added some ribbons that coordinate as well with the, uh, the album colours. That's the back, I'll be signing it at the back there. And I've used petaloo flowers, bronze um, embellishments. These are from my uh, D stash that I bought. I'm not sure where they're from, but they're really nice quality. A bit more metal embellishments there. And I've left that blank so you can fill in what you want on that. The original eyelets have got rusty. Now, I was really thinking of replacing them, but then I liked the look of it with the bronze um, embellishments. So I decided to leave it on. And not change them. I added uh, these eyelets with the uh, elastic cord and I've added some beads on just to keep it closed because it was getting a bit crocodile mouth with all of the pages. Those are the first pages. That's the original chipboard page. This one I've used black card to create these pages and the 6x6 papers. Now, because they were falling short, the 6x6 pages ended about here. I've uh, added pockets onto all these pages. So inside these, you can slot in photographs, receipts, tickets, and other bits and pieces. That's from the ephemera pack, a couple of them with a pearl there. That's the other side of it. Again, from the ephemera this is there, another pocket on that side. This my daughter got me some writing pad. I like my narrow lined papers and she got me this from Paper Chase. So I used a few of the pages in here because there were nice green lines that weren't coordinated with this and it's plain on the other side. So you can do some sketching or doodling. Another pocket there, a curly paper clip, which I, I create. And it's got a tassel on the end of this one. I do have a video on how to make these as well if you want to go through my channel and have a look. This is an envelope and a card which I altered. So I've added some of the scrapbook, uh, the, paper, the pieces that I had left over. Added some metal embellishments and they're actually little pockets there. So you can put things into that. Open it up and you can store things in there. And, or journal, or you can even stick a picture over this and it'll look really nice. I've got no scraps left whatsoever because everything's been used. So I'm quite proud of that. That's the other chipboard, second chipboard page. Again, pockets. I've left them empty so you can fill them in yourself. You could stick a little um, passport size picture in there or you could do some journaling on that. This is another envelope I added. I just added a little tab onto the envelope and I put a metal embellishment there. And this is what I meant by not having any scraps left at all. Every little piece I trimmed off, I stuck down and created this. 
added a doily and the petaloo flowers and some uh, metal embellishments again. This opens up. You've got your either photo mat or journaling space up there. And we've got space in here as well. I've just put in a revision card, the index cards. And that's got a little hot paper clip there as well. Another pocket page there. These, this section I put in some different coloured papers. It's like the craft papers that you, have, uh, you, you have use with the kids. So I thought that was nice in there. Another pocket there with some of the um, ephemera kit pieces. Again there. These would be nice if you just even like had a torn paper, lined paper of a uh, printed paper, um, plain paper, and you did your journaling on and you stuck it on and stuck little pictures on as well. So that you could use it like your scrapbook, how, how I was saying before. The colours are so nice. I really like the colours. That's another index card that I've just filled up using all the scrap pieces that I had left over. And a bit of paper piecing as well. Just want to point that out in case anybody's fussy about things like that. That's from one of the ephemera, the ephemera pack as well. I put in some graph paper in here and it's plain on the other side. So again, it's roughly about um, eight to 10 pages in each section. I did notice, I want to point out that some of the pearl color has Excuse me, it's rubbed off onto that while it's been closed. So, a little pocket there. Another of my curly paper clips with another style of dragonfly. Another tag there from the ephemera pack. That's another pocket there. I like how that blends in, so it, it just looks like it's a normal page. So, you could even just stick a picture there and have some hidden notes in there if you wanted. This was another bit that was left, there were just all the scrap pieces left over so I just put a little gemmed brad there and I thought that looked nice in it. Another of the scrap strip, stick strips envelopes, sorry, getting all tongue tied. An index card and a paper clip again. Another pocket there. This was actually the cover of the paper pad, 6x6 paper pad and I've just covered up the writing with that flower and gem and metal embellishment. So it makes a nice little journaling card or tag. Again, these pearls have rubbed off on here so I don't think I'll be using them as much in my next project if I've got a closed book like this. Another tag there. You could fold that up and create a little journal book, notebook if you wanted, or use it in a couple of spaces. Got an, I think that's attached, sorry. Just took something behind there. Another envelope like the one in the beginning. You've got pockets in there again. another curly paper clip with some beads in matching colours and this was some recycled paper lined paper and I thought that made a nice little addition the other side of that cover the, and I've covered the name up again it's a bit of a tuck spot there you can just see as well so you could tuck something into that Use it as a gem card or that, and there's a little ephemera piece there. Another pocket there, and another pocket there. So, sorry about the voice quality again. I am just quickly rushing through this. Uh, hope you enjoy it, and I'll be popping this up in my Etsy. If anybody's interested in buying, I take PayPal 
and I do ship international as well and I'll send the uh, signed and tracked. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.